This video will cover insurance company plan and plan fee schedule setup. Some of the benefits of setting up your insurance company's plans and fee schedules include eliminate data entry and calculation errors, automatic calculation of patient responsibility and insurance pays at the time of order for fast and easy patient checkout, provide accurate reporting of accounts receivable, streamline your claims filing. Some of the features include insurance plan by location, group pricing, which facilitates the creation of insurance fee schedules by grouping together inventory items that have similar insurance pricing structures. Price lens fee schedules as each or pair to correspond with your spectacle lens inventory. This demo will cover the following topics, how to create insurance companies, plans, and fee schedules, assigning plans to specific locations, Group pricing of procedure codes. Inserting pricing on orders by selecting an insurance company and plan. This video tutorial will guide you through the setup of insurance companies, plans, fee schedules, and how to apply insurance pricing on an order. The use of this module will help ensure proper charges on orders, accurate billing and claim submission, and aid in quick order entry. All insurance related items are under File Setup Insurance and here you will find the insurance companies, plans and the fee schedules to be associated with those plans. Let's start by selecting the insurance companies. The first step in getting the insurance set up properly is to add the insurance companies that are accepted by your practice. To do so go to File, Setup, Insurance, Insurance Companies. If you have purchased the VSP Ifinity interface, click on the Import button to see Ifinity's list of carriers. Click Refresh on the bottom of the screen to make sure the list is up to date, and then select the insurance carriers that you work with, and click Import. For these imported plans, the name and payer ID will be imported, and you will need to fill in the rest of the details for that insurance company. In the View section, PCP Simple View is checked by default. This means that you will only see the Patient Pays, Insurance Pays, and Overage Discount fields and the Fee Schedule on the Order screen. If the PCP Simple View box is unchecked, the Fee Schedule expands to include the following fields, Retail Allowance, Contracted Amount, and Insurance Gap. You can manually add a new insurance company by clicking on the Add button. For all insurance companies you have added, fill in the Insurance Company's Details section on the bottom of the screen. Be sure to fill out this section completely, including the type, default place of service, payer ID, payer sub ID, and electronic submission number if applicable. In the section labeled CMS 1500, select the insurance type, Check the boxes to insert the authorization on the CMS 1500 and print the name and address on the top of the form if required by the insurance company. You can also specify modifier defaults. You can type an alert message and check the display alert box if you'd like to display a specific alert every time this insurance company is selected in the order screen. If available in orders is checked, this insurance will be available to select in all orders for all patients. If it is not checked, you will need to first add the insurance to the patient's profile under the Insurance tab. Then you will be able to select it in an order for that patient. The next step is to set up insurance plans. To do so, go to File, Setup, Insurance, Insurance Plans. Click the Add button and select the insurance company from the drop-down menu in the Plan Details section. Next, type the name of the insurance plan in the Plan field. 
For multiple location users, select the locations that accept this insurance plan from the locations list. If you would like an alert to be displayed when a particular plan is selected, type it in the alert field and check the display alert checkbox. Repeat the steps above to set up all plans accepted for each insurance company. Save the changes and restart MyVision Express. For VSP providers, please do not alter the VSP plan names. If you do, the VSP interface will not work correctly. Before setting up the insurance fee schedule, you will want to set up insurance groups. This will facilitate insurance plan fee schedule setup by grouping inventory items that have similar insurance pricing structures. To set up groups, go to File, Setup, Insurance, Insurance Company, then click on the Groups button. You can then specify a name for the group, the item type, a procedure code, and an option code if necessary. You can also type in a description for the group. Then click on the Add button and select the inventory items that are to be grouped together. Now you are ready to set up an insurance fee schedule. To do so, go to File, Setup, Insurance, Insurance Fee Schedule. Once you are in the Insurance Plan Fee Schedule screen, click on the insurance plan that you want to set the fee schedule for. The first item you will want to set up is a type of allowance for frames under the Frame Other section. There are three types of allowances. Retail. This allowance is based off the retail price of the item. Material. This allowance type is an amount that is subtracted directly from the total charge for materials. Whole. This is based on the group cost entered on the frame inventory item. Next, input the frame allowance amount and insurance pays amount. If there is a discount on frame overage, then add that in the overage discount percentage field. For wholesale allowance plans, you will have to add the overage multiplier instead of overage discount. If this is an insurance supplied frame, then check the insurance supplied frames checkbox. Check the overage to V2025 if you want the frame overage amount to be applied to the V2025 procedure code. Next, in the Copay Other section, add exam, material copay, and contact lens allowance information and select the allowance type. There are three types of contact lens allowances. Exam contacts. The allowance will apply only to the contact revenue boxes. Material services. The allowance can be applied towards the fitting fee and or the revenue boxes. Total. The allowance can be applied toward exam services, fitting fees, and or revenue boxes. Check the insurance supplied others checkbox if the insurance company will supply lenses and lens treatments. Check the combined to V2781 checkbox if this insurance company requires you to bill progressives under just the V2781 code instead of using V2781 code as an upgrade to the V2200 or V2300 code. Select the item type you are adding the fee schedule for in the filter section. For this example, we will select spectacle lens. An additional dialog box labeled unit will appear. Select the method by which you are setting up the spectacle lens pricing, by each lens, by pair, or by the method you selected in your inventory setup. If you need to specify dispensing fees, click on the Lens and Frames Dispensing Fees box and enter the dispensing fees that the insurance company pays you for each corresponding item. Now you're ready to price groups. Click the Add Group button. The Add Insurance Group box will appear and you can select the groups you wish to add to this fee schedule. Groups that have already been added will have a dark background. Click on the group you wish to add and click the Select button. Once you have added all of your groups, you can begin setting up the fee schedule for each group. Click on the group to highlight it. Check the Eligible box to make all items in the group eligible to use in an insurance order. If there are groups that you do not want to appear on the claim, check the Not on Claim box for that group. Insert the retail allowance for the grouped items. The retail allowance is the retail dollar amount of the patient's benefits. 
Continue by entering the contracted amount and the patient copay if there is any. The insurance pays column will auto populate based on the equation contracted amount minus copay. The insurance gap column will also auto populate based on the equation retail allowance minus contracted amount. Repeat the above steps for all of the groups you have selected for this plan under each of the filter categories. For any items or procedure codes that the insurance company does not offer coverage for but instead tells you to give the patient a discount off the usual and customary price, you will just enter the discount amount in the overage discount box and select the discount type as retail percentage. In the case of items where the insurance company tells you what to charge the patient but does not pay you anything additional for those items, enter the retail allowance as the same amount as your usual and customary charge and enter the amount that the insurance company has specified to be charged to the patient in the copay column. For this example, you do not need to enter an overage discount. Repeat the steps above for lens treatments and other inventory items. For contact lenses, you only need to put in the contact lens allowance and allowance type. If the contacts are insurance supplied, you can click the contact lens radio button to display contact lens procedure codes. You can then specify a modifier or alternate CPT code if required. You can click on the services radio button to view the service inventory list. Check the eligible box for all the services you would like to make eligible under this insurance plan. If you do not want a particular service to appear on the insurance claim, check the not on claim box. Click on the filter button and select services in the type drop down menu and check the eligible box. Click OK and now only the eligible services will appear in the fee schedule. Enter the retail allowance, contracted amount, and copay for each service you've made eligible. The insurance pays and insurance gap columns will populate based on the information you entered in the preceding columns. To apply the same amounts to multiple services at once, select them all and click on the details button. Fill out the corresponding fields and check the eligible radio button. Click OK to make the changes. Repeat the steps above to set up the fee schedule for all eligible services. To copy a fee schedule from one plan to another, select the plan you would like to set up and click the Copy From button. Select the plan you wish to copy from and click OK. Review the fee schedule and make changes if necessary. Save your changes. Once the fee schedule is saved and MyVision Express is restarted, the charges on orders with eligible items will automatically calculate based on what has been specified in the fee schedule once the insurance company and plan are selected.